hello thank you for joining for another one of my videos uh, the first part of this video I actually filmed on Thursday and it is now Saturday uh, because of work and things getting in the way I just didn't have a chance to film so I start off with my lunch from Thursday uh, and then go into my measurements and my weight update and then I'm going to be making some sticky toffee puddings from the pinch of non book so I hope you enjoy this video thank you for joining again Okay, for lunch today, I'm having these sweet potato bakoras from Aldi. They're really nice and they are wheat free. So I'm just gonna heat them up in the oven for a couple of minutes. I usually do them in the microwave at work. I think there's four left. I've got some red pepper hummus. I've got the rest of some olives that I've got left. And I'm going to try some of this with my hummus as well. Some of this monge too. So I'm just going to chop the ends off and wash it. And it gives me something to do for my hummus. Can you eat monge too raw? You can. Should you? No, it's really bad. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so I'm going to be doing some measurements today. Um, it's actually been, I think, I started on Wednesday. It's Saturday now. So I think we're on day 10. Um, day 10 of my weight loss journey. Um, now the last couple of days have been a little bit hard. Anyone who's female may feel my pain. Uh, so I'm not expecting some of my measurements to have gone down as much as I would have liked. Um, mainly around my stomach, but I'm hoping that my other measurements might still be a little bit less. Uh, so I have filmed myself doing my weight, which I will put in now. Okay, so I am quite happy with the weight loss. Um, I did weigh myself on Wednesday. Um, I don't know if I'm going to weigh myself every week. I think it's quite good to motivate me to carry on from the start. So my starting weight was 19 stone, 4.2 pounds. And as you've just seen, I've dropped the 4.2 pounds. So hopefully it can keep going down. Um, although I have been eating healthier meals, I know that I could be doing more in the eating side of things. Um, I've managed to do the Joanna Sews workout uh, every day, apart from those two days when I didn't do it, which I was annoyed at myself for, but we live and learn. Um, I've managed to do it every day since then and I'm hoping to carry on doing that. So we've lost 4.2 pounds. Now let's see if that is reflected at all in any of my body measurements. I've done my measurements so my bust measurement was 125 centimeters and is still 125 centimeters I don't know if that might be because I have a new bra though <laughs> um, my waist measurement was 110 centimeters and I've just measured at 104 centimeters so that's six centimeters less which is great um, my stomach was 152 and it's down to 149 which is amazing uh, since my stomach is a little bit bloated today, but it's gone down three centimeters. So I'll take that and My arm measurement was 45 centimeters and it's now 43.5 so a little bit down uh, one and a half centimeters down, which is brilliant for ten days and My thigh I'm not sure if I measured my thigh wrong last time but it was 80 centimetres last time and it's 79 centimetres now, which is one centimetre less. But I would have thought that my thighs would be the bit that I'd kind of lost the most size on, just from all the workouts, from all the squats and the lunges and things that we do on the, in the workout. Um, but we'll check again next week. I'll make sure I do it the same way as I did today next week. So overall, quite happy with that. 4.2 pound loss as well, which is really good. Um, and I know I did miss two days of doing the workout, so I'll make sure that doesn't happen again and then we can keep progressing in the right direction. Um, so over the week, I found the Joanna So workout, it was getting easier. 
I seem to be sweating a lot less. I did mention that in one of the other videos. I was sweating a lot less and I'm still getting out of breath and I've checked my heart rate on my watch and it definitely is still going up, but I'm thinking maybe I need a little bit more of a challenge. So um, I'm thinking of increasing to doing it three times. Um, so that'll be 30 minutes in total, which is doable. I do find it harder to do in the week just because of work. Um, motivation is definitely a struggle and today I've been sat in a pile of blankets feeling very sorry for myself with my hot water bottle um, and was actually scrolling through YouTube and I saw some compilations on TikTok motivation videos and I watched those and that's what made me finally decide to get up, stop feeling sorry for myself, do my measurements and I've dressed for a workout so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to try my three times of the Joanna So workout. Um, on Instagram I've been getting lots of messages from people on their journey which has been really motivational and has helped me and has made me want to carry on trying which is exactly what I was hoping would happen from doing these videos, was hoping that it would push me to keep going and keep trying and not give up even when I want to just not do anything. So it's already working just got to keep it up just got to keep posting and keep you know reading those positive messages watching the positive videos and seeing people's daily updates on Instagram has definitely helped uh, so yeah I'm gonna carry on I'm probably going to carry on weighing in on a Wednesday because that's every week then but I'll do my measurements on Saturdays um, just because of time I just have more time to do that Right, so I'm going to do my workout and then this evening I'm going to be trying the pinch of nom sticky toffee pudding recipe. So we're going to be giving that a go and hopefully it will turn out really nice. I could do with a sweet treat with the way I'm feeling at the moment. But yeah, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to make these sticky toffee puddings for the pinch of nom book. It's on page 252. And we've got the recipe here. It says that it's 20 minutes, five minutes in cooking time, I think. I oh, know, 20 minutes cooking time, five minutes prep time, there we go. Okay, so this is what they should look like by the time we finished. Look very nice. I've actually got all the ingredients. So I've got uh, clover light, this is three eggs. I've got my self-raising flour, it's gluten-free self-raising flour, obviously. Um, black treacle, I've got gluten-free baking powder, my spray, granulated sweetener, and golden syrup. So let's give this a go. So even though I've got all the ingredients ready, I've just realized I don't have ramekin dishes. So we're going to try and make them in here. I don't know how many it's going to make uh, because obviously these were a little bit smaller. I'm just going to make sure I use lots of cooking spray. So hopefully they'll come out nicely. Okay, so the recipe just says to Put all of the ingredients in the bowl apart from golden syrup and then use an electric whisk to combine them until they all the ingredients until they are light and airy so let's put all the ingredients in so we've got 75 grams of self-raising flour i've got my oven preheating to 190 degrees as well so that is ready to go i'm just going to get my measuring jug out so 75 grams of self-raising flour. Like I said, I'm using the gluten-free self-raising flour just because I'm wheat intolerant. So 75. Oh, nice. 70. Close enough, we've got 79, but some of it will probably stick in the jug anyway. So 79 degrees of self-raising flour, so that can go in the bowl. One teaspoon of baking powder. One tablespoon of black treacle. I'm going to do that last because it's probably the messiest. Three tablespoons of granulated sweetener. One two three. 50 grams of reduced fat spread. So that's my uh, clover. Measuring balls. 
again. Three eggs, oh my gosh. Am I really going to crack eggs on the camera again? Maybe I shouldn't do it straight into the bowl. We'll give it a go. One of our friends said I hit it too hard and that's why I ended up getting shell in. So let's hit it a little bit lighter. One out of three, no shell so far. Looking good. Hey, I managed it. Oh wait, yeah. <laughs> three out of three. Three eggs. I've managed to crack. No pun intended. I've cracked it. Okay, and then it says don't put the golden syrup in. So I need to put in one tablespoon of black treacle. I bought this specially for this recipe. So, nice spoon and get this open. One tablespoon. So I use my tablespoon. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. How do you make it stop? Well, I have made a mess of that. I'll clean it up in a minute. Okay, so I need to get all this black treacle. whisk it all up with an electric whisk. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Uh, it looks light and airy to me. So I'm going to get my ramekins, not ramekins, my tray. And it says to distribute golden syrup evenly between each ramekin and then put the cake mixture in. So I'm going to spray this with the fry light because I don't want them to stick inside. I have no idea how many of these I'm going to need so I'm just going to do eight. That seems about right. And then I'm going to put some golden syrup. Now it says one tablespoon of golden syrup all together. I'm just going to squeeze a tiny little bit into each, into each of the holes. Might end up being a little bit more than it would have been if they'd done it with the ramkins. Okay, one more. And then I'm just going to use a spoon to put a mixture into each one even, as evenly as I can. Use the self raising flour, so I have no idea how much they might rise up. So I don't want to go all the way to the top. Right. So 
so I've preheated my oven at 190 and I'm going to put them in. It says for 20 minutes. I'm probably going to check them just after 15. Since they're a little bit smaller. And then I'll show you what they turn out like. Okay, so they're all done. And I've just taken two out, which I'm gonna have. They're looking really nice and really spongy. So I would recommend this recipe. And now I'm going to go and enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Bye.